Hi there, this is Stephen Mack from Layer 7 Technologies and today we're going to take a look at the WebSocket feature that's now available in the new Layer 7 Mobile Access Gateway. Um, before we jump into the demo, um, let's take a look at what is uh, the WebSocket protocol. So what is the WebSocket protocol? Um, it's a protocol that basically enables bidirectional uh, full duplex communication on a single socket connection. Uh, the goal of this protocol is to simplify bidirectional web communication and uh, the management of those connections and essentially to enable uh, messages to be sent back and forth uh, between client and server. Uh, WebSockets um, replaces some older techniques uh, such as uh, polling or, or long polling uh, which were used to simulate two-way communications but um, across two separate connections. Uh, WebSockets also re basically reduces uh, the, some of the unnecessary network traffic and latency associated with those techniques. Um, WebSockets was originally spec'd as part of um, HTML5, the HTML5 spec, but it was moved out of that and it was eventually standardized um, via the IETF as RFC 6455. In today's demo, um, we're going to use uh, two browser windows um, as the client, uh, Google Chrome. Um, and I should note here that browser support for WebSocket is still evolving. So while uh, most of the major browsers all claim some level of support for WebSocket, um, the experience is not consistent across all of these browsers. Uh, on the back end for this demo, um, we're going to use Tomcat as the WebSocket server. And in between, we're using uh, the Layer 7 Mobile Access Gateway to proxy the communications uh, uh, through the connection uh, between the client and the server. So this means that the Layer 7 gateway is, is sitting there and can monitor uh, the messages going back and forth through the connection and it can um, look for certain content and, and perhaps it could log that information or uh, it can filter for certain keywords and then modify the messages that are being returned. Okay, so let's jump into the demo here. We're going to open up um, the two browser windows. So here um, we're going to log on as Tom and as Jerry. So Jerry's going to say, hi Tom. And Tom says, hello Jerry. Um, and then uh, Tom's going to say, hey, I'm having a party tonight, want to come? And uh, Jerry says, uh, no thanks, you know I don't like cats. And you can see here that after I punched in, it replaced the word cats with dogs. Um, so what, what we're doing here is basically the gateway is, uh, has a policy and it's looking for the word cats or cat and it's replacing cat with dogs. So let's uh, take a look at that in the policy manager. So this is the policy manager here, and uh, this policy here, we have a, basically a regular expression that looks for the word cat and re replacing it with dog. So we could, we could do other things. So for example, we could say, you know, let's replace hello with, um, you know, something French, uh, bonjour. And when we save and activate this, and when we go back to our client windows, we could say hello, and it changes it to bonjour instead. Okay, so that's uh, one example of um, text messages being uh, streamed through the WebSocket um, <clears throat> connection through the gateway, um, having um, 
the, the message intercepted by the gateway and then modified. So in our second demo here, we're going to stream some video through, um, through the gateway. So I'm going to start one camera here. There we go. There's camera one. And we're going to start the second camera. Camera two. So we have camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. <clears throat> um, so great, we've got video streaming through the gateway, but how do we actually know that it's going through the gateway? So we have a policy on the gateway here. You can see it down on this corner, um, WebSocket video filter. So uh, what we can do is we can apply a watermark uh, to the video um, and uh, that's being applied and, and just to prove that it's being applied by the gateway. So we're, let's jump into that particular policy and open it up here and you can see there's a add watermark um, assertion here. So we're going to make the, uh, we're going to change this to say WebSocket rocks and we're going to save and activate and we're going to go back to those uh, browser windows and you can see here now um, this is the this is the uh, source and this is the um, um, the video that's coming th uh, through the gateway so you can see that we've imprinted uh, WebSocket rocks on the, uh, on the video here so in a nutshell uh, you know this is uh, this is uh, just a quick demo of the WebSocket feature uh, in the mobile access gateway and if you have any questions, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please contact us at info at layer7.com or follow us on Twitter at layer7. Um,